so good evening everybody um somebody asked me a question that uh he's trying to open he's trying to open a livestock farm so and um, he wants an advice so i told him so the advice i'll give to him based on experience this one is not based on literature or whatsoever this is based on experience first of all he needs to send first of all he needs to prepare a feeding plan for whatsoever animal he wants to keep i keep goats i keep sheep and i keep cattle now one of the major challenges i'm having is feeding you know there was no there was no you know i had uh, a lot of training i had trainings from uh, dr gotin john abraham i have training from uh, the eagles group and um, all through my training you know with all my training i just discovered that experience is another thing experience will finalize the whole education you need for keeping livestock now one of the things i never knew how to was to get a grazing field for all these people for all these animals you know i was basically giving them to sir or giving them uh, what's it called this shaft from um, guinea corn or i was or i'm mixing it with um, the pods of um, beans that is koa dusa koa and kk now uh this all this uh, food uh, this thing all these feeds they were not enough they became expensive at the point i couldn't i couldn't even buy at the point i became broke at one point because i'm feeding these animals not to feed them fat but to keep them healthy and moving you understand with time with age they become fat or whatsoever now it's now and i came to my senses and realized that i was supposed to do a a a kind of grazing field for them so my advice if you are starting for ruminants such as um cattle wa alaikum salam so nazo such as cattle such as um goats and sheep the first thing you need to get for them you get a grazing field for them if you don't have that for them just forget it as far as you are trying to keep these animals for commercial purpose you need to get a grazing field if you don't have it don't even enter it you see that at the end you regret spend just go and use your money to buy meat pie and ice cream and be eating every day to enjoy your money if not you just end up wasting your money that's the truth except you are keeping these animals for hobby for for a kind of you like seeing them you like keeping them you just want to see them of course you not keep those ones in a large number you just keep one or two of them and though you can spend the money in buying these to sell whatsoever to continue feeding them uh good day